is I created a store and I have one product. It's a design responsibly t-shirt. And then I put in variants for all my sizes. Previously, when I had this working with Zapier, I had to like hack this and change the slug and, and do a whole bunch of different things to try to get content over um, to Printful so it can be used. But with this way, you can set up your store however you want, just completely normal. Set up your Webflow e-commerce store. So I've set this up and everything is working for me. I published it. You can see I have a site where, you know, multi-image, which is awesome, uh, field being used, and I can choose my size. I can add it to the cart, and then I can make a purchase. And then what I've done is I've also got a spreadsheet that lists all of my items. So mm -hmm. my item and every, every variant. And then I have a couple of other fields in here. So one, I have a variant ID, and this comes from, uh, this comes from Printful, and they even have like a little nice little site where you can look this up. So, what shirt are you selling? What size is it? Here's the ID, so that they know what product to uh, to use. So you just pipe that in here, and then I actually put the print file. So this is the file that's going to go on front. So I can I can add that in. So I have that here, and then what I what I have here in Integromat is I'm listing orders that are unfulfilled. So if it's not filled, I'm going to pull it in, and then basically before, um, if you if you look at this purchased items like we kind of jam all those orders together, and it's really hard to get that data and do something with it, especially in Zapier. It was really hard to take that and I was writing JavaScript to try to split it and then put it into an array. Um, and it was super complicated with this. You can actually say these purchased items, you know, make it an array. Um, and then it outputs these orders and it splits them for you. So you don't have to do anything with it. And then I have a step here where essentially I am just looking for, um, the, the items that were ordered in the Google sheet. So I can pull, so I'm saying, you know, the variant name, I want to see that variant name in this sheet. Um, so I can get this ID essentially. So I'm just looking it up. And then with the last step, I am making a call to, uh, to Printful. So just copied and pasted their API call in here and, you know, customer info, city, state, postal code, whatever, the variant ID for what should be printed, the quantity, of how many of those should be printed from that array and then the file I'm grabbing that from Google Sheets. So, you know, once you run it, so here is my orders dashboard in Printful. You see nothing there. And then in Integromat, when I run this, you'll see it looks. Uh, array done. Makes the calls to so and I even have a filter here. I just want to return the the items that matched. So, and then it makes the calls. And then if I come back to my dashboard and refresh, there they are in draft mode. And then you could actually edit this API call to where uh, they don't start in draft, but you know, they're, they automatically start processing. And you could still go in and cancel them if for some reason you needed to. Uh, I think the last step that we could add in here that I didn't, but we could is essentially now go back into Webflow and update uh, those orders and mark them as fulfilled. So the next time an order is placed, we're not, you know, doubling those items or tripling those items. So anyway, completely works like a champ. Um, so hopefully this video kind of uh, explained that process, happy to answer any more questions, but uh, I'm going to start working on a tutorial that uh, I can put out for the forums uh, so that uh, people can connect their stores to Printful as well. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.